Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you five easy steps to create better photography in Lightroom. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you five easy steps to create better photography in Lightroom. It's gonna be really easy, you're gonna love it. Let's get straight into it. Okay, I'm gonna use this image here. This is a picture I took out in Tenerife. And let's go through some easy steps so that you can improve your photography. Firstly, we are in the Develop tab, so make sure you're in your Develop tab. Then go down to the bottom here, it says Camera Calibration. Now by default, most cameras are gonna calibrate all the colors to Adobe Standard. Now you can change all of that here. You can also change it on your camera, but you can do it here as well. So I'm gonna choose Camera Landscape because it's a landscape shot. And as you can see, the colors really change and look much more vivid. So that's the first step, change your camera calibration. Next, we're gonna go up to the basic settings here and we're gonna change the tone and the color or what's called the presence here. So let's bring down the highlights to see if I can bring anything out in that sky. And I'm gonna bring up the shadow so it just highlights the rocks here, which is really quite nice. I'm gonna add some blacks in just to add a little bit of contrast and let's see what happens with the whites yeah maybe a little bit of white like that now let's go down to the color bit here and bring up the vibrance just a touch actually and the saturation again just very slightly i think yeah just like that that's okay that's good and that's the second thing to do adjust the tone and presence which is your tone and color the next thing is to add a tone curve now I have got a whole tutorial on curves. I think curves are a brilliant tool to use to enhance shots. And I'll put a link to that here now and you can go and learn about what curves are all about. But for now, we're just gonna put in a nice S curve. Yes, that looks so much better. So let's just turn it off and on. So that's with the curve and that's without the curve. And it kind of gives it a bit of contrast, takes away that kind of milky, um, film to it if you like so that's the next thing add a tone curve then it's cropping and straightening up so let's click the crop tool which is at the top here i'm going to click angle and then i'm going to click and drag along the horizon line and release and that looks okay to me so let's click here the crop tool again and that's cropped it for us that's the next thing crop and straighten your image. And the last thing that you want to do is add some sharpening. So let's go down here to where it says detail here at the top. And then we're gonna sharpen up the picture. Now, as we look at the picture like this, it actually looks quite sharp. It looks sharp from the background to the foreground. But if we zoom in on an area, you can see it doesn't look that sharp and that's because it's a digital image and that's just basically what happens. Digital images are never fully sharp you have to post process them and make them sharp so down here you've got sharpening and my default setting what i like to set my uh, images to by default is i put my amount to 80 like that my radius to 1.2 and i bring up the noise reduction to about 15 like that and that's a sort of default setting that i put it on that's just my personal um, thing that i do now if i toggle on and off that's before the sharpening, and that's with the sharpening. Now, as you can see, it is so much better with the sharpening. So let's zoom out like that, and that's the last step. Sharpen your images. So let's look at the before and after by clicking this button down here, and there you go. That's the before, and that's the after. Let's have a look at them side by side. Now look at the difference there, and that is five easy ways that you can improve your photography in Lightroom. Brilliant. 
And there you go guys, I really do hope it's helped you out and it helps your photography look 10 times better. Please, please support us here at the School of Photography by subscribing to our channel, liking the videos and sharing them with your friends. It really, really helps us out and it enables us to, to give you more free tutorials. Also come and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We've got a really good learning community and you can join in with people there that are learning Lightroom just like yourselves. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.